Hello everyone, today we're going to be installing a ceiling fan in the garage because when I'm working out in there, this guy just has to be with me 24-7 and it's too hot for him. Yeah, it's for him. The uh, tools you're going to need for this one are very simple. Just a, um, a wire cutter and stripper, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and an adjustable wrench. Uh, you might need um, also electrical tape. In my specific situation, it's going uh, to replace an existing light. So it's very simple. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the canopy uh, ring from the canopy by turning it counterclockwise until it unlocks. So that's this thing here from this thing here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the mounting bracket from the canopy by loosening the two canopy screws that are located in the L-shaped slots, which are these right here. Okay, and after that, what you're going to do is remove the other two screws, one here, one there, and that way you will be able to slide that out. Here's where it'll be a little bit different depending on your specific situation. Um, what they call the standard ceiling mount, you're going to use this right here. In my case, uh, because of the equipment and where I'm installing it at, I want it as close to the ceiling as possible, so I'm not going to use uh, the rod. If you were on your specific situation, maybe you can uh, pause the video here and see how it's going to be different than what I'm about to do. So in my case, since I'm uh, mounting it flush, I'm going to remove this decorative uh, little plate there and all you have to do is push here with your finger and that comes off uh, This is pretty easy if you have to do this of course the main thing always make sure you have the power off But I'm sure everybody can figure that how to take that off One thing you want to uh, check here is make sure that if you like in my case have an existing box that it is a box that uh, it's not only for light which usually are plastic that it's a metal one uh, that you know it's strong enough to hold the uh, the fan and the vibration of the fan next thing you want to do is you want to remove um, three of the six screws and their lock washers uh, of course every other one uh, that's securing the motor collar to the top of the fan motor housing I found uh, by just getting the bottom where this came exactly from that and flipping it up it's a great way to work on it and keep it in place and keep your screws from uh, not getting lost next uh, you want to place the rubber gasket over the remaining three screws uh, and route the wires um, exiting the top of the fan motor through the canopy ring and make sure that the slot opening in the top then proceed to place the ceiling canopy over the collars at the top of the motor. That's what, you, what it should look like. Okay, make sure um, that these are facing up because it's going to go right there. Okay, next, uh, the fan bracket here. Of course, you slide the wires uh, down and it should slide into the existing screws or if you had to put a bracket of course you can see there how that goes really easy it just slides right in one on each side the main thing I would say with this make sure uh, you may like I will probably have to there we go here you may have to use washers that are you know not included with it but just get some washers to level it out you want to make sure this is level okay so your fan runs properly and doesn't vibrate and it lasts longer okay the, the um, bolts screws whatever that were in there uh, were long and they were hitting the top of the box so I had to cut them and uh, found some washers for them also so it'll be uh, I'll be able to tighten it a little better and be more uh, secure Okay. 
Okay, here comes the tricky part. If you're using the standard, now you're just going to slide this on. Okay, see that groove right there? You're going to put that right there. You're going to slide it in here, of course, in this opening and slide it in. In my case, since I'm going flush, I'm going to use, if I can get this thing to focus, this right here, okay, onto one of these holes right here. That's what's going to help me keep it up there. Okay, and hopefully you can see right there how while you're hooking up the the electrical here, uh, the fan is going to to be right there. Okay, for the wiring, um, of course, if you're doing it this way, the standard, don't forget to put the ground here also. In my case, since I'm going flush, I'm just going to have uh, this ground here. So, of course, here's your here's your ground. Uh, of course, the black goes with black and blue from your fan and of course the white or beige or looks like maybe even yellow in this case coming from the house is going to go with the white coming from the fan so again there you go if you want to pause that so you can see it's pretty simple but just in case take your time make sure you got everything connected properly even though I'm going flush I left about a foot of wire just in case I ever did decide I wanted to put the rod or change the fan somewhere else even though of course I doubt it at this point okay so there you go again uh, the black coming from the house to the black and blue the white coming from the house to the white on the fan and the green coming from the fan to um, your ground which is usually just going to look like this now you want to depending how much wire you left either in here or shove it back up here out of the way if you chose not to cut off the wire they recommend um, just uh, wrapping it around the mounting bracket if you're mounting it um, what they call the standard way that's what you're working with just push everything up and lock it in place in my case of course not using the rod uh, going what they call the close to ceiling mounting uh, it's a little bit different uh, just gotta unhook the fan of course carefully from where I left it hanging that I showed you previously and put it in place okay so again gently uh, put it up while you're pushing the wires in of course the less uh, wires you got to mess with the shorter the wires the easier it's going to be the longer if you didn't tighten it around the bracket as they previously said it's going to be a pain in the you know what but the key is you're putting it in here then you're turning uh, counterclockwise in order to get this and the one on the other side in and then you'll see here you're going to tighten it with the other screws you took off at the beginning again be really really careful look all the way around make sure you're not crimping any wires before you tighten these four screws in when you're up here uh, tightening especially these uh, two screws one on each side be very careful that it doesn't fall in here it might uh, go in there that would not be fun I mean it's never happened to me of course but uh, one trick I use is a little magnet if you don't already have a screwdriver that's magnetic one of these little uh, hard drive old hard drive uh, never throw the hard drives away I could show you in other videos what I do with that but that's uh, one of the magnets that's in there that's real powerful so that helps uh, keep that in okay next is the blades okay next you're attaching the we're attaching the fan blades you can see they're pretty simple okay just make sure um, before you tighten them t really tight you do them little by little you know bring them each screw down 
one by one. Don't just tighten one all the way and then go on to the other. You want to make sure it's, it's balanced and it goes into the hole properly and it goes uh, straight. Okay, next you want to remove um, these rubber bushings. They're just there so the motor is not doing that uh, while it's in the box, but it, while it's being moved around. This one brought three. And in this case, the bolts were here already. Oops, were here already on the bracket. So it's just, you see what it looks like there with the gasket. Go around, put them all in again. Be very careful when you when you do this even though it seems like something really easy make sure it's perfectly straight you don't over tighten one before the other you tighten them um, both going in little by little so that your fan is nice and balanced that's one of the tricks okay so there it is now just to uh, turn the power on and hope the house doesn't catch on fire here we go Okay, so the first one is high, then it's medium, then it's low, then it's off on most fans. Again, as you can see, hopefully, in the video, it's nice and balanced, and that's done by following instructions, not tightening one side before the other, uh, taking your time, paying attention, and you'll have a fan that will last you for a lot, a lot of years. I've been here 22 years, and... I installed, uh, let's see, five or six fans in the house when we first moved in, brand new, and they're all still original. Okay, if this video helped you, please click thumbs up, like, um, subscribe to the channel for uh, you know all the things I do around the house, repairing the house, repairing uh, cars, truck, my Jeep, uh, all kinds of stuff and I always try to uh, you know teach you tricks that I've known for many years of doing this and or save you money if you look for one of my videos the one on the dryer that I believe still has the most views is because uh, taught somebody how or probably hundreds of people by now I should say uh, how to do it for free so again like subscribe share Patriot Marine out thank you